what are you doing that's actually, or you think our viewers should do next? What we would, what we would suggest, stay invested. You know, it's very difficult to time the markets. There's a lot of cash still on the sidelines that moved into money market funds last year that we think is going to move back in, in, into the markets. Yeah. We think that broadening out trade is very much there. So what we're doing in our portfolios for our clients is moving away from some of the bigger names in the index into more of the mid-cap names that I think are going to benefit more from a supportive um, central bank. So these, these are rate cut names? Yeah. They're, well, rate cut sectors type thing. Yeah, so, sure. so your cyclicals, your financials, these sorts of sorts of part of the market. Oh, financials. What part of financials? You don't, you don't mean the banks? Or do you mean the banks? Well, actually, you know, the banks do do well. The, the banks do well with stable interest rates. Right. And what we had last night from the, from the Fed, and I think the message we'll get from the Bank of England today, is that, yes, rates will come down, but rates are going to stay higher for longer, further out. That's good for banks. Banks need a strong economy. So a lot of our managers that we invest with are actually quite liking the banks at the moment. Interesting. The FTSE is really going for it today. <laughs> we don't always say that. Yeah. We've got a uh, fairly decent trade on the UK market. It's not being left behind. In fact, it's leading the charge by percentage of, on the core markets today. Enough so we've cleared 7,800 points and we're, we're looking uh, fairly firm in that territory. What do you think of UK assets that haven't been as strong as some of the others on the continent? Well, UK assets, I mean, they've lagged behind a lot. They lagged behind last year. They've lagged behind this year. And it was interesting. Yesterday, we had the inflation print come out from, from, um, from the UK. It came out lower, came out the lowest it's been in a couple of years. It was lower than expected. Market did nothing, I think, waiting for the Federal Reserve meeting last night. Um, it's come out strong this morning. UK market is extremely cheap. The earnings have been, uh, have been pretty good. So I think it's, it, it's definitely rallying on that. And also, we've had a bump up in the oil price recently. That benefits the energy names in that, in, in that market as well, which to carry a big weight. If you look at the makeup of the basket today uh, on the FTSE 100, of the index rather, you do have resources stocks right at the top. There's Neo, Anglo American, Glencore. Do we need the commodities rally to stay intact for the FTSE to really gain traction? Or do you see the breadth underlying, whether it's home builders to banks? There's breadth and, 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 and there's, um, there's good earnings coming through in, in, uh, across the broad market in the UK. But yes, the FTSE 100 is going to be led by energy companies, materials, which has quite a lot of exposure to China, obviously, and the banks as well. It makes up such a big part of, of, of that index. Um, you talked uh, about your managers who really quite like um, financials because of the stability. Or if you have got a stable rate environment, it's actually a nice sector to own as well. And a bit of support from the central bank could actually boost the UK economy. Um, in terms of that, it's a sector that's confused a lot of people over the years in terms of the, the reliability of its income or the importance of its income as well. How, how important is income, given you know, we've, we've established, we think the Bank of England's going to follow suit and cut rates in the second half of the year, possibly three rate cuts as well. How important are income stocks at this stage of the cycle? I think income stocks are extremely important. You know, I think uh, I think they're probably quite under-owned by people as well. I think. Yeah, been, I, I, I yeah. look at a few of them. There's some seven, eight percent yielders out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. And I'm thinking, why? Absolutely. And I think I mean, a, a lot of it, it comes back to the UK market as well. You get some fantastic income stocks in that market. I think they have been under-owned. I think people have moved a lot into the Mag Seven. Obviously, you know, the, the big growth names. Mm. Income stocks to us look quite cheap. We have quite a lot of exposure to those in our portfolios because. You know, I think if you're in a world where you know, growth is better but it's not brilliant, having a stable income is going to be really important for investors. Um, 